morning sunshine. It's cool in it. Yeah. Sweet. All right, let's go home. Oh man. That's beautiful morning out here. Cold. Whoa. How'd your bag do? Good. Yeah. I'll give the uh, Ozark Trail a uh, for seven point eight for a forty dollars sleeping bag. Yeah, forty dollars sleeping bag. Well, I just checked the uh, airline and still nothing with my bags. There was a flight just left Dallas um, a few minutes ago, and doesn't look like my bags are on there. And the next flight isn't for another two hours. So I'm just gonna have to keep checking throughout the day, I guess. But this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I really need my stuff. All I have is what I wore on the plane last night, and then my I have my Pelican case, my little carry-on Pelican case that has all my camera gear. Well, most of it. I don't have my tripod. I guess that's the only thing I don't have camera gear-wise. And then I've got uh you know, my little my um, backpack, day pack thing, you know. That's it. Other than that, I have nothing. So, I had to buy a toothbrush and toothpaste last night. I don't have any of my meds, my blood pressure meds and some other meds that I take. I don't have any of that stuff. So, I got nothing I can't even hunt. So, I don't have any of my gear. I have, well... I could just go walk like this with my shotgun, shoot some quail or rabbits. So this is just beyond ridiculous. I'm so just incredibly frustrated right now, but nothing I can do about it. Chris is getting his stuff set up now. Got his pack together, just got his bow out, and it's just been frustrating. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do at all, so figure it out. What's the plan? Well, Stan. So, I'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning, but it's all right. Day one. <laughs> so, um, now we're going to stick with the original game plan. We're going to stick together this morning, go check out a couple water. Uh, holes see if there's any sign tracks or anything like that kind of gauge how much water's here because they've gotten a lot of rain in the last few days yeah. um so compared to last year where there was limited water and all the animals were concentrated we're going to kind of try to see how that is and then so we're trying a different little we're going to try a different tactic so we want to sit water but not on the water so what i'm saying by that is we're gonna to try to find the trails that the deer are taking to the water and then set up probably 150, 200 yards down that trail and catch them coming in and out. So Garrett and myself as well noticed last year, and if you watch some of our videos from last year, the deer were super, super wary coming into the water. So they'll come up to that berm and then dropping down into the water tanks. They were super, super wary and they were just on edge. So what we're hoping is if we go and set up a couple hundred yards away that we'll catch them more calm um, just walking, feeding, and stuff. And then just kind of hopefully everything settled down. I mean, Garrett watched deer for an hour on the other side of a burn before they would even come into the water. I, mean, you, I could see them in there feeding in, in the, you know, the trees and other stuff and on the other, other side of the tank yeah. forever. So it's just a thought, um, we're gonna try it out. So I got the ground blind. So we're gonna go to the the water hole where Garrett saw, shot his deer. We have the big deer from last year saw him. So we're hoping he's still hanging around in the same area um, or maybe a buddy of his. Um, so we're gonna go maybe set up the ground blind if we can find some good tracks and, and good sign and everything like that. And then kind of just walk around or drive around a little bit check things out and see I mean we might come across some deer 
I mean, that's what happened last year, and that's the reason we found that water hole is we just came across those deer at like noon. Yeah. So, it's should be really good for midday action. Yeah. Um, that's how it was last year. Well, I'm talking about the moon. Oh yeah. yeah. So moon rise is like right now. And it's all through the day. So there's no moon at night. So it should be really good action. I mean, temperatures are dropping down in the low 30s, yeah, it was, high 20s. It was 30 degrees last night at 10 o'clock when we rolled and, back. Uh, and then the rut, you know. So, I mean, there should be some really good midday action going yeah. on. So we should have a good chance to come across some deer uh, throughout the day today. Yeah. Um, and maybe we can put a stock on and, and stuff like that and... I don't know. Most of the we action, might be pulling a crazy audible, and hopefully, I can shoot a deer quick, and then you can use my bow <laughs> <laughs> since you don't have arrows or a sight or, or a release. release. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. Uh, uh, gonna, yeah, I'll still be, no signs of Garrett's bags. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put a stock on a deer in my street clothes and my in my sneakers. Hey, they killed them like that in the '50s, so right, right. they didn't need camo back then. No. So it can be done. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so we're gonna go give it a good college try, college boy effort, and yeah. see what we can come up with. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. I have Lena tracks right here. say that's at least so Friday's the last day they got the real Saturday they got real rain yeah. so these could be than yesterday <clears throat> yeah, there's some good tracks okay I have any tags yeah, no, right it wouldn't be a bad idea to go up on that hillside sit up in those rocks yeah. and just observe Oh yeah, just kind of glass it. Well, and then once they go down in the water, you make your way down mm -hmm. and ambush them coming out. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. First spot, good tracks. A lot of javelina though. Yeah, a lot of javelina. What you got? I got me a gambles. Look at that. It's my first one ever. Ain't beautiful. We were just driving down the road, heading to the next tank, and we saw um, saw this. Well, I guess it was this guy running down the road, and we jumped a whole covey of them. I was able to get this one. I am super excited about that. That is a beautiful bird. And yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Super excited about that. <laughs> this made my morning right there. I don't have any of my gear, but at least I got my shotgun <laughs> and uh, go out and get a get a bird. You got well, lunch today. We got lunch. I don't know what you're eating. So you never pass up an opportunity to shoot a bird. Right. I mean, yeah, we're out here deer hunting, and that's the main thing, but. I mean, we're going to take whatever we can get That's right. and every opportunity. But that was a good covey of quail, real good covey. So, good signs. Look at the size of this one here. Come check this out. Right all up through here, up along this fence line here. And there's a bunch right here on this side. Back down. And they, they just haven't been down in there yet. Well, we're uh, 
at that tank where I shot that buck last year, where we saw, really where we saw all the deer activity. So, got good tracks, good sign. So we're thinking about setting a blind up here. So, let's see, uh, Chris is over here, checking this out. So we're just gonna work our way up this uh, wash right here. We know the deer are traveling down this wash to come down to this tank. And that was kind of what Chris was talking about this morning was having a kind of like an ambush spot here before they get to the tank because man we watched the videos last year and we had a lot of deer coming to this tank and they were just super super spooky. So yeah. I figured we'd try and check this out either but I saw them like so back here where we were just looking Right over here, about setting a blind up there, and I saw a watch deer back in here feeding, and feeding on the tree limbs and down in the grass right here. But and you can tell, like this year, with the way the uh, grass is, there is so much more grass than there was last year, and it doesn't look they've had cattle in here. So so far, I mean, good sign. Rabbits are like the size of deer. True. Like a German Shepherd. Yeah, just right here. I saw the back end go in the bushes. Deer or the rabbits? Whatever. Whatever. Spooked right here. I have seen us. Our wind is going this way. Yeah. Oh, it was right there. Yeah, it, was like it didn't look like a deer back the back end of a deer. Didn't. Yeah. I saw those deer. That's pretty cool. Two does. Yeah, unless they were, unless they were down in that draw. Yeah. And those rabbits spooked them or something. Because I really don't think that was a deer that was right here. Yeah, it looks pretty good, sit. Yeah. Because if they come on this way, by the time they step out there. Yeah. I'm gonna be here. You want to be drawn. Drawn. Still see her? No, she turned and walked. See that cactus? Yeah. She turned and walked right behind it that way. She 
she was just standing there looking this way and then when you stopped like that she turned and walked away. God, that shit's so thick back there. Um, there's a doe. Well, that's what, three deer now. Yeah, I'm more likely she would not Good hours. alone. They're up and moving. Oh yeah, with this moon and stuff, I, they're gonna be up and moving throughout the day, I think. Yeah. Just trying to get somewhere high where you can glass them a little bit or sit water, like. You can just water it there and sit mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sit right here? Yeah. yeah. Your bow? No. I don't need that. You taking it back? Yeah, it's on that side. Oh. Where are you going? I'm gonna go up there. Up there? Yeah. Good luck. Go bring the spotter. Might as well, it's already in your pack. It's heavy though. <laughs> I thought you were the pack mule. I am. <laughs> I want to hear no crying out of you. Chris is going to head up here and try and do some glassing and see if he can spot some deer moving. I'm going to go back to camp and hopefully figure out my bag situation. I talked to him a little while ago, still nothing. And maybe do some walking around with my shotgun and just try and find quail. That's about all I can do at this point. Maybe go just got out some more tanks. Yeah. So there you have it. Fun adventure this morning. Seen some deer. That's cool. Got that quail so far. But good start to the morning. Other than my baggage situation. But I'll get them eventually. Maybe I'll have them by Saturday. Time to fly back. Well, made it up here to where we want a glass from. <clears throat> so it didn't come up terribly high on the uh, side of the hill, but got up high enough where I can get a good overlook of everything. And, uh, that way also, if I did spot something down there, I could maybe make a move on it pretty quickly. Not taking up too much time. So, but probably just gonna sit here in the glass and have a couple snacks and stuff, but mainly just trying to observe and see if there's anything. We're sitting above this water hole. So, where that first one we checked, we saw quite a few tracks and saw a couple spots where it looked like they were crossing. There's javelina sign all over this hillside. So, but so a good chance we'll see them. But hopefully, catch the deer moving down here below us. Um, kind of just wait and see, see what's up moving around. Saw a few deer this morning already, so that's a good sign. They should be up on their feet, moving throughout the day. It's starting to warm up compared to what it was this morning. It's still not terrible. Sitting here in the sun, it's kind of a little bit hot. But let's see if I can move into some, some shade or something. I don't know yet. We'll see what we can move, see what we can see. Wow, I just spotted a doe. There was a uh, truck driving up the road, and all of a sudden I look over and I see a doe running. <clears throat> I don't think they saw it. She stopped a little bit and then she started like she coming towards me. And then I got this like kind of wash creek bed in front of me, a few hundred yards in front of me. And then she got to that and then started working her way that way to my, my left. And right when I got the big camera on her, or 
like trying to get it on her. She uh, she took off running again, so don't know. But all by herself, which is kind of weird. Thousand bucks with them. Thousand buck at first. You might sell like that just out here cruising. But uh, it looked like a doe. I didn't get the greatest look at it, but it looked like a, a doe. So I'll just keep my eye on the spot. I think it went down in this thick brush right here in front of me. So just keep working the glass. See if we can turn it back up. Yeah, they're on their feet. They just move so, they move so well in this stuff and not be seen. <laughs> sitting up here glass and it's kind of hard to pick them out. So, just keep at it. See if we can turn it back up. Just turn that doe back up. She was right at that big rock. Oh, she's standing on it. She's that dark spot right there. And that Jeep is starting to come back down the road again. And she is, she's locked on it. Not that they can't see her. Well, it's a different Jeep. It's a different Jeep. Thirty, a little bit before that, but uh, he texted Garrett. He ran into a mule deer buck, which is cool. So, but uh, he's gonna meet me back here, and then we're gonna link up and go check out a couple spots for tomorrow. That way we can get all set up and everything like that, get established on where who's gonna go where, and then we got to run into the airport and pick up his bags because. Thankfully, both his bags are going to be at the airport. So, uh, that stressor is off our back now. And uh, now we can focus on getting the deer. So, but not a bad sit. I mean, we saw a deer. So, uh, wish we would have saw some more. Wish we would have been able to find one to make a play on. Or at least get good eyes on and get some good uh, notes on what the deer do in this area. Seeing if they use that water or not. Not today, so I'm not gonna rule this completely out. Um, but I mean, I could come up here early and sit early in the morning because there could be a lot of movement for that. So, don't know. But uh, yeah, on to the next one. So, creep on out of here and then get in the truck and go check out a couple more spots and maybe we'll run into some deer. So, we're getting to that, those magical hours. So, a couple more hours left of daylight. So, go see if, what, if we can make something happen. Here comes the mighty hunter. How big is it? How big is it? Watcher. The, the mighty watcher? Yeah. <laughs> Just that one doe. That's it? Found a nice rub though. Oh really? Yeah. So like, yeah, 
back side of this like where it flattens out i mean there's little trails and yeah looks like i mean you can see where cattle came and laid down yeah but it looks like deer too same with that whole hillside i mean it looks like beds but i can't tell if they're javelina or if they're deer yeah. i mean i wouldn't see why there wouldn't be deer yeah but you can tell like i mean cows ain't going up that shit. no but i mean you can tell game music because it's like cactus and then there's a path yeah. through the center of it yeah, yeah. that they've worn down mm -hmm. And so it's like, I know they're using that hillside, but I think I kicked some javelina. There's definitely javelina on that hillside this morning. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there's fresh rooting. And, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I kicked some up when I was up there. But nice. Yeah, yeah. The doe was on the on that side. Of the tank? Yeah, well, she wasn't at the tank. I don't know if she was coming into it or what. Yeah. But a Jeep was driving this way, and all of a sudden I see her take off that way. Mm. And then she started coming towards the center. But there's like a pretty dominant brush line, like a probably a little wash, wa or little wash. And she so she hit that, and then she started paralleling it like on this side. And then I lost her, and then I picked her back up. And then a Jeep was coming from our camp. And she was like looking at it, and then she let it get by, and then she kept going that way. Hmm. So, yeah, all I, by herself. There had to be. Which other I think's weird. Yeah, there had been other ones around. You just didn't see them. I don't know. These deer disappear in this shit so easily. Yeah. Like they just are in and out. Like walking in it, you like walk, and then you hit like a little dip, a little wash, and I think that that's what they're doing, and they'll just kick that. Yeah. Did you spook that mule deer? Yeah, I was driving, and it was like 50, 60 yards off the road. I don't even know how I saw him. I just I looked over, and I saw broadside mule deer, and like in between some bushes and stuff. And I, so I stopped, and I look at him. I turn the camera on in one hand, and my bio in the other hand. And I think when he turned his head, I thought I saw spikes. Mm. So it, I, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah. But it was, I know, it was like 50, 60 yards, you know. And it, it took off and heading north and that so that pan i showed i dropped um i was heading from one tank to another and there was like yeah. a wash between them yeah. and he was cruising up that wash i think there may have been a second one with him him awesome. or her i don't know but it was big old mule deer yeah camera's still on yeah. <laughs> but uh so I want to drive up that road that has the gate. I'll go way back in there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a tank. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, big bug. You got it. You killed it. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, take that road up that has that gate. Yeah. Take it up and look at that wash or that tank up there. Okay. And see what that looks like. Alrighty. Well, hello there, cows. Where are the cows, dear? Because you are not cows, dear. You are beef cows. Oh, look at that. That's awkward. Stampede! Oh, there's a little calf. I think that one likes you. Yeah. I'll probably get dinner. Yeah, those aren't the those aren't cows deer, those are beef cows. <laughs> well I just blew out every deer that's gotta be even remotely in, near here. Yeah. What'd you find up there? Cows. All the cows. And then they decided to follow you? Well, I was pushing them, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Getting feisty. Getting feisty. Looking for that camp meat. 